Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you the video tutorial for the card I made for the Inspire Inc blog hop I was on yesterday. So the theme was um, favourite new product from the uh, um, new annual catalogue, and um, which is quite difficult because it does change daily and it changes with every new order that I get. And um, I received the Sunflowers um, bundle um, this week. Um, it's uh, a stamp set and die bundle. Um, I have used the stamp set in another project but I don't think that's come out. It's come out on a blog hop but it, the video hasn't come out and I used that one and did some colouring in with those leaves. Just stunning and then it comes with this lovely set of dies so you can cut out all of these images plus you've got some um, other um, standalone dies this foliage I do love foliage so I decided to do a tone on tone card with um, with some vellum and uh, so I'm going to make it again but I'm going to make it in very vanilla and um, just whilst I'm at it um, this is a bundle and when you buy a bundle with Stampin' Up you get 10% off but right now for June there is a fabulous uh, joining offer where you choose your normal um, the normal joining offer is £99 and you choose £130 worth of products. But for June, there's not much left of June, um, you can choose a bundle as well. Um, so um, you could get this for free, um, which is just fabulous. I would certainly be tempted by that if I wasn't already a demonstrator. Anyway, so I'm using, so for this one it was all um, Whisper White. So I'm doing very vanilla so we can compare. Um, so I've got some thick, very vanilla here. So that's just a normal C6 card, which is half an A4, cut in half, folded in half. And then I've got my normal mat size there, and all the measurements will be on my blog. And as well as that, you need some vellum. And so this is the Stampin' Up vellum, which is a really nice, sturdy, thick vellum. Often vellum's sort of a bit flimsy, I think. And then I've got some scrap of Whisper White. So I'm using the Subtles folder to emboss this um, so that we've got uh, a bit of texture. And then everything else is dies. Um, so this is the outline die for the big sunflower. And this is the outline die for the leaf. So we're going to cut those out and I'm going to cut three of those and then out of the very vanilla we're going to cut a big sunflower and then we'll have to cut the three leaves to go with those. And then I'm using this other foliage and I'm cutting um, one each out of vellum and then one each out of very vanilla and I'm also cutting this centre piece out of very vanilla as well. Those are the only two I'm not using. Um, so I'm going to get all those cut out because you don't want to see me doing that. And, um, and then we'll assemble the card. So that's them all cut out and embossed. Um, I've even embossed this in the different direction just so we've got um, some comparison to, to make. So um, what I do found um, making these is that I had to cut this out and then put it back in a couple of times and reposition it um, because um, I have more pressure on the outside of my big shot um, than in the middle so I had to sort of turn it. The same with the leaves, um, I just ran it over a couple of times to um, make sure that they all, they all came out. Um, so I've got lots of little bits here which will just go on my floor probably uh, and uh, you've just got these little bits to, to poke out uh, there's my pokey tool managed to lose it in the mess on my desk I only saw it on my Instagram the other day yeah I found it eventually I knew it was there I was just like where is it there we go do have more than one we don't sell these anymore which we've got our picker tool so I've got that on my other desk and then but this one's my favorite I like that end for shaping flowers so just poking these out I do have a brush 
but is uh, dropping out quite easily so by the time I'd got that out I've finished haven't I so there we go oh one up there right that's that so there I've got all these dots now oh. now when it came to sticking them down I'm using a bit of contraband um, I've just recently got this um, art glist glue um, and it has this um, lovely precision top. I've been watching a lot of junk journal videos um, and um, lots of them use use this. This was a tip. I saw it, um, I was watching the Paper Outpost, Pam from the Paper Outpost and um, she does junk journaling and she had a little magnet there for a pen and I went, what a genius idea. So um, yeah, so I'm using this because um, of the um, delicateness of this um, die cut. Now, what you've got to do is you've got to work out where it matches up, and that's where it matches up. So I'm going to think about that as the top. And I'm going to get rid of some of these that have just flicked through to the inside as opposed to coming out completely. And there's one there. That needs to drop out as opposed to just fold back. So have I lost my place? No, we're there. So really nice fine tip. Now obviously we can go over the middle. Don't have to worry about that because that's quite a nice thick space. And then I just sort of dotted where there was and I found, although Tombow's quite a small nozzle, it does tend to ooze a bit and you get really sticky and um, I didn't want that to happen on this so I am using this. You probably have your own favourite glue and I have got some glue bottles that I decant into that have got a needle tip which I could have used as well but I'm using this one. So, check again, yep, yeah, so it's M3 there and that going over, that's kind of the one, oh, I'll fluff that up now, smudged it, there we go, try not to do what I just did, I didn't in practice, so I've now got glue all over me vellum. So this will be a big test actually, because it does dry clear. So see if it sort of disappears, that art glitter glue. There we go. So that's that stuck on. So that's quite cool, like it. And then we're gonna do the same with the leaves. So this is the, this is the, the, the sort of, it's a fairly quick card. I mean, you've got a lot of die cutting, but I like cut things out in one go together. I've got a magnetic plate, so it's quite easy to line them up. So easier to stick this one because it's sort of obvious. So I kind of go down to the bottom first and then And stick it around. And I've cut the middle out because as you can see in the middle of that sunflower you can see through it and um, when I first sort of assembled it I could see the stems of the foliage so it was like ah if I stick the middle underneath over the stems of them foliage then you won't see it and I quite like it because it's got like a little bit of detail in it. I'm not sure if you saw that. It's got a bit of detail in it which is which is fun. So I could stick it on the outside I guess. Maybe I'll do that on this. No because if you stick it on the outside 
suppose I could pop it up on dimensionals. Maybe I will do that on this one. And then we've got something else to compare, haven't we? And I haven't put a sentiment on this card. I did experiment, die cut out a couple, but I didn't actually like the way it looked. So I put sort of two leaves up there and one leaf down there and then one of them with two leaves, one of them with one leaf, and it's these bits of foliage that you can see. And then stick the one leaf up there, and the two stem one down there, so it's sort of the opposites. And then this just goes on top, and you can see in the middle there. So, yeah might pop that one up on dimensionals as opposed to on this one I put it underneath but I think I might pop that one up because it's quite flat this card so I'm going to stick these all down now I'm still kind of going along the stems Here and there, pretty much won't see it. So I'm not tucking the ends in. Just doing those bits. So yeah, I thought this card would be nice for a wedding. Um, or <laughs> didn't really think much beyond that. I was thinking of um, right. I'm gonna do the little spongy thing. Um, so where's my silicon mat? That's not your silicone mat. That's your stamparatus mat, Jess. Don't worry. There. So, a bit of a silicone mat. And I'm going to squirt a bit on there. Pick up some glue. And stick it on the back. And then... Should hopefully stick down and you won't see you won't see the glue through it picked up Okay, put that away now. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, what other occasion do you have? Like, nice white and cream. So I was thinking of First Holy Communion and I was wondering, is sunflower's good for that? Maybe a sympathy card? Or, or any occasion, really. I was experimenting with thanks. Thought I might send these out as thank you cards, and then I thought there's no way I'm die cutting that many. Just not happening. So certainly a a one-off special card. Lovely wedding invites and get all your lots of people involved with helping you cut it all out. There we go. So gonna put glue around the center actually I can go over the whole center because I'm covering that up 
few dots. And there's drawings. Stick that down. Might have been better to have made those leaves out a little bit more. And now I've got a bit more space here, I think, than on the other one. So I could put a sentiment on this. Never use dark glitter glue to stick down a card yet. So Good little experiment. I'll just stick that down. As you can see, I've got a big space there now. So unlike the other one, I think I've got more chance of putting a sentiment on this. So then I'm just going to stick this in. Now it does fit. That's we're working out where. That, yeah, not that it matters because it's popped up, but there we go. So that's it in white, and that's it in very vanilla. Oh, <gasps> dropped a die. I tend to lose them when they go on the floor, and when you do get a sort of a plain one cut out as well, so. Oh, move that a bit. There. So, as you can see, this one I, I cut more over. So this one, I've got some space there. So I'm actually going to put a sentiment on this one and then we can see what it's like with and what it's like without. So thinking about um, a sentiment there in the corner so I'm going to make it a happy birthday card so I'm taking this happy birthday from peaceful moments because I want it to be a sentiment with one on top of each other and I think that will look nice in the corner there and I'm going to use the layering circles um, to cut it out so um, not the smallest circle the next size up that goes around that one quite nicely and then obviously the next size up in the layer so I'm going to cut that out of gold and I'm going to emboss, heat emboss this in gold. So if I get my, my scrap that I've got left over and some Versamark. And get that stamped. And then get my gold embossing powder. And that'll be a really nice, luxurious birthday card. Maybe a special birthday. Well, all birthdays are special, but I mean like a big number one. I perhaps should have used an embossing buddy on this. The most underused thing in my craft room because I'm always forgetting. Right, so give that a blast. So then I'll just do the die cutting and um, then we'll finish it off. So that's them done and I'll just stick it together on there. And I'll probably pop it up on dimensionals as well. So let's just let's see how good this glue is on sticking on a foil sheet. You often see it in groups, people say, what's your favourite adhesive? 
and uh, for me it depends what I'm making there we go liking that so I'll just get dimensional I do like this nib though it's very good and I'm just looking on here and um, there was a bit of smudging but I can't see out can't see out so liking that and I didn't use the sponge technique on these but I did on these so that's good so there we have it one in very vanilla or with a sentiment one in whisper white without so if you want a sentiment I suggest you scrunch it over a bit um, that one is more in the center without a sentiment which is always nice to have um, I think cards without sentiments so you can either add one when you need it or send it for any occasion and then we've got the difference in the centers there um, popped up and behind so hope you like that all the details are over on my blog just.co.uk there is a link down below to this uh, blog post and I'll link to the original blog hop as well and um, you can hop round and see what the the rest of the the hoppers have done what is their favorite project product from the new annual catalogue I say this is my current favorite it'll change tomorrow no doubt because um, they all end up being my favorites at some point okay thank you for joining me and if you do want to buy anything there'll be links to my shop and if you want to take advantage of that um, uh, joining offer and get this bundle for free then um, uh, do contact me if you've got any questions or just for the link it is linked down below okay bye bye now